Hi everybody, I just want to show you how students can submit assignments uh, directly from Google Docs, Google Sheets, or Google Slides. They can turn them right into Schoology. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go into Schoology here. And when I get in there, I'm going to be in as a student. Alright, so you can see I'm in as a student. Um, and I'm going to go into this course that I've created. Uh, and down at the bottom, you can see where it says Google Docs Assignment. You, as a teacher, you're going to create the assignment just like you normally would. What's going to change is how the students submit the assignment. They can still use Notability if they want, or if you want them to, to turn an assignment in. But you could also have them create a, uh, a Google Doc, um, do their writing in Google Doc, Docs, and turn it in that way. Um, that way they could collaborate on it if they wanted to, or it could just be individual, um, individual creation. Alright, so they're going to go into the assignment, and they're going to submit and submit just like they would um, another assignment. One difference is from Notability, they'd submit, um, they'd upload from Notability. Alright, so when they hit the plus button here, you can see create submission, uh, submit photo or video, submit from resources, record audio, and then submit from iOS app. So those are all different options students have to submit assignments. Alright, in order to do the Google Docs, Slides, or Sheets, um, they're going to select submit from resources. And it's going to, the first time they do it, it's going to open up and look like this. Um, and so they're going to need to hit install app. If you do see Google Drive there, then they might already have this set up, but most of them won't. So they're going to hit install app. It's going to take a second to process. You can see the third one down is the Google Drive app. So go ahead and hit inst have them hit install on that. And so what we're doing is we're just making it so Google Drive and Schoology will talk to each other, essentially. And we're gonna, there's going to be some passwords we're going to have to enter to give permission to do that. So we hit Install. And we can see it says the app was stalled success, installed successfully. And we can see now that it's installed, it takes us back and it's installed that Google Drive app. And when we go ahead and touch that, we're going to have to put some login information here because we want to, we're going to give permission for Schoology and Google Drive to talk back and forth. So we're going to enter, they're going to sign into Schoology. It's going to be their student email address and whatever password they use for Schoology. You can see that mine's a little bit different because I created a, a fake student. We'll go ahead and hit log in. Um, we're going to give some authorization here. You can hit approve. And it says we're not connected to Google Drive, so now we need to connect. So now we need to log into Google Drive, so you go ahead and hit connect. Remember, this is the students doing this um, on their iPads um, in the Schoology app. So I'm going to connect my Schoology account to this Google Drive account. All the students have a Google Drive account associated with their email address, which is usually their first initial last name at students.isd317.org. So I entered my password there. Obviously, I didn't want to show it on the screen. Um, then after you sign in, enter your password and hit sign in, it's going to ask you if you want Google Drive, if you want to allow Google Drive and Schoology to talk. You go ahead and hit allow, uh, and it'll open up. You'll be able to see what you have in your Google Drive. So I selected this Apple meeting note. So this is just a Google Doc. Um, so I went ahead and selected that. I'm going to go up to import, and then import file, hit import. Uh, into Schoology, and now I'm ready to hit submit. So that process took a little a little while. Um, once you get through it the first time, then all of that login information, login into Schoology, login into Google Drive, that's all set up. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do it one more time here. I mean, it's going to be much quicker this time. So they're going to hit submit, or hit the plus button, hit submit from resources, Google Drive. Google Drive will open directly up. I'm going to turn in that book report. It's a Google slideshow this time. Hit import. Submit. So that's a much quicker process once you get it set up the first time. Uh, and we're done. So now okay, so now we're into Schoology on the teacher side. Uh, you can see that I'm in the technology staff development course. See the Google Doc assignment down here. I'm going to open that up. We can see that. I actually have two fake students, but we were looking at Dan Anderson. We can see Dan Anderson submitted an assignment that needs to be graded. When I open it up, here's the book report. 
PowerPoint that I had. Um, because I submitted two things, this is revision two. If I actually look here, I can go to revision one, which was that document that I submitted. So here's the document that I had in Google Drive. It's now in Schoology. And you can now sort of mark it up as you see fit. Um, or whatever you'd like to do with it in Schoology. Make sure that you hit save changes and enter a score. Then you can go ahead and get out of there. So that's that's really how that's how students can turn in assignments um, via Google Docs. Um, and so you could have students collaborate, or if the Google Docs is a platform you prefer um, to have students use, you can have them do that. They do all have a Google Docs account or Google Drive and Docs account um, using their student email, um, and they should be able to access those uh, on their iPads. Let me know if you have any questions, and thanks, Polly, for bringing this to my attention.